A few weeks ago, my friend Jay asked this great question, talking about Jesus and the disciples. And basically, the question was, was it important that the, he chose them, or could God have accomplished the same thing with anyone? Now, interestingly, I kind of mentioned this question to a few people, and the almost unanimous immediate, almost knee-jerk response was, no, it's important that God chose them. They were handpicked. And there is some validity to that. And in fact, on top of all of that, Psalms 139, which to me is very important, it reminds us that God, who exists outside of time and space, the God who sees the beginning from the end, that he does have a plan for our lives. It says that he created the days for us before there were any. But the question truly is deeper than it looks at first glance. Could God accomplish the same thing through anyone? And in my mind, how important is their response? Well, look at, could God have accomplished the same thing through anyone? What do we know about these guys? Well, first off, they had nothing to offer. Maybe that was even the point. They, we see later after the resurrection of Jesus and after they're empowered with the Holy Spirit and a, a cripple is healed, what we see is when they're questioned, people realize these are Galileans. In other words, they're from nowhere. They're uneducated. They're untrained. They, they've got nothing to offer. They are completely unimpressive. And again, maybe that's a little bit of the point. But what was obvious, though, they had been with Jesus. So I think the reality is God could work through anybody. If he could work through them, and isn't that most of us? Completely unimpressive. In fact, looking at the disciples, not only that, when they said yes to Jesus, they had no clue. They had no understanding of what God was calling them to, what it was going to look like, where they were going. But they, they just said yes. And God took those completely unimpressive with nothing to offer, that group, and did the unbelievable. And isn't that, again, you and I, we come from nowhere, we've got nothing to offer, we're completely unimpressive, other than we've been with Jesus. Which leads to what to me is probably even more important, and that is the response. That what you see is God, Jesus, not just handpicked them, but they responded. Was it important? Did he choose them because he knew they would respond? But, but also, does that response mean so much more? So we see today as then, so many said yes to Jesus and then just continued on with their lives. What made this group, these disciples, so much more different? What made them so powerful with a profound impact? And it's that continued response. So I just want to put this out for your consideration, for you, for you to think about, chew on. John 1.12, it is talking about Jesus as it says, As many as received him and believed in his name, he gave the power, and that word also means the authority to become children of God. Now, does that mean that just by saying yes to Jesus, that you become a child of God and you've got heaven in a relationship with Jesus. Okay, that's good, but is there even more? Now, I personally believe God has so much more for his people if we'll respond. And I believe that the world desperately needs us to respond. So is that verse both mean that, but is also, is it even deeper? Is it also saying at the same time that as many as received him and believed in his name. He gave the authority to become children of God. Is there more? Is God saying, I want you to continue to respond, continue to pursue, don't settle, but pursue that God-powered life because we need it and the world around us needs it.